What's good, gang? What's good, gang? Will my Dell back again with another daily vlog? So, Miss Savannah, I'm about to get back on the road. And I have to head to uh, Virginia today. Uh, Norfolk photo shoot uh, Sunday, Monday. Oh, boy. I'm craving eggs. All I can think about right now is some, grit, some grits. Well, I really want some pancakes. And I just got my coffee. I'm putting a little bit of gas in right now. And um, I take this trip so much, I usually have to fill up back in, uh, refill up in South Carolina and North Carolina border. And I, I have to refill back up as soon as I get into Virginia. Um, like as soon as I get off 95, uh, I usually have to refill up right there again. Just how much I'm, I'm on 95, that much going back and forth. But about to go in here and try to find me a good radio station. Usually I like to cut uh, the music off while I'm driving because I like to think. I get a lot of good ideas while I'm on the road. And um, yeah, so man. Y'all can tell I don't want, I, I'm not ready for this drive. I'm ready for it, but I just don't feel like I hate I hate this drive, but I stay hitting this along. I'll check back in a little bit, all right? What's good, guys? So, uh, just got to Virginia, and I stopped by the office. I'll be shooting at tomorrow to drop off my equipment and set everything up before I go sit down and rest my nerves. Uh, I'll show you what I bought. I bought... Um, Three alien bees um, sitting on three impacts with uh, an Avenger boom. And um, bought a Mola Beauty dish, 22 uh, inches, I think. White, black backdrop. I got my uh, Westcott parabolic silver. Uh, a couple of um, Reflectors. Uh, I got a three foot octobox just in case. I got two uh, two by two octoboxes. I still have my old uh, trusty. Is this a met meter? Uh, it's like the first flash I bought. I forgot the name of it. It's nice though, it's pretty strong. And I already set up three modifiers. I got two uh, two by fours with grids on them and a five foot octobank with some, for some nice soft light. So yeah, I bought, let me see, it was three, four, five, six, six light modifiers. Well, seven if you include the, well, eight, seven and eight with the Westcott and the uh, Beauty Dish. I left two of them home that I'm not going to set up because they're too huge. But yeah, set everything up now so when I come in tomorrow, I don't have to set it up. I can just start, um, you know, moving them around, you know, depending on what model I'll be shooting. In between then, I'll probably be shooting products like these bottles uh, for the company's website. And, um,. Going and retouching those sometime next week. Pretty sure it's a lot of products. Um, as you can see, a variety of them. busy next few days so I'll probably check up with you guys later depending on what I'm doing I might go down to the beach and walk I was gonna go to the gym today when I got in but going straight to the gym 
after a seven and a half hour ride compared to a three and a half hour ride like last week in Atlanta is totally different so I gotta go chill out for a second but I'll keep you guys posted all right well looks like I'm gonna go to the gym anyway because the little dude at the uh the hotel counter told me I can't check in till three o'clock it's 12 and I'm not about to be driving around Norfolk wasting gas to three o'clock and I'm not about to go in no mall you know walking around getting tempted to buy something I'm trying to you know keep money in my pocket so uh Guess I'm gonna go. I guess I go work on chess. I worked on back yesterday. I ain't feeling it like I thought I'd be feeling it. Uh, especially after deadlift and 315. Four times, like twice. But I feel it a little bit. But I think I might just do a little light chest today and some curls. I work on my arms. And uh, I'm still feeling my shoulders from the other day, also. I did shoulders Thursday. Still kind of feeling that. And I did legs. No, hold up. I did legs Thursday. Yesterday was Friday, right? I did legs Thursday. And I did uh shoulders Wednesday. And I guess I just work on chest and arms today. My goal was to wake up early in the morning and hit the gym to do like chest and arms, but I might as well just burn myself out. But, yep, 3 o'clock, this dude says. He says all the rooms are booked. They're cleaning, doing whatever. What else can I do but hit the gym? Good thing Planet Fitness will let you work out at any gym nationwide as long as you have this little black card. So, I just hope my Bluetooth is charged. I think I charged it. And, um. That's how I'm starting my first hour in Norfolk. I really hate how people drive up here too, man. I thought it was bad in Savannah, man. And it's a military city, so you got a lot of weird weirdos. A lot of people coming from everywhere. But, yep. I might record in the gym, I might not. Nine times out of 10, I probably won't. I'm not, I really don't feel like recording in the gym today. Oh, and I'm turning into the wrong spot. How about that? Yep, long day. I'm not interested in shopping at the dump. What kind of store is that called the dump? I mean, I don't know if that's smart advertising or stupid advertising. All right, so I'm checking in. Holiday Inn. and stuff. I just left the IHOP. I had to go sit down to eat. Alright, Mr. Oliver. Hold it down. Man, y'all saw that? You saw I dropped my cards. Man, that lady in the office helped me pick it up. For oh, weird around here, you know what I'm saying? Find my room. What's going on, black man? All right, all right, all right. There we go. All right. I swear, man. I need to get on the elevator. Couldn't even look me in the eye. Ain't asked what flow, just said what flow. That's why I like to stay in the house, man. I'm working on it, man. I, I'm truly working on it. I just told somebody the other day, I said I need to get out and start mingling with people. That's one of my biggest drawbacks is not going out and mingling with people, you know, especially when it comes to uh, business. I could care less about mingling with people just to get to know people as far as like on a personal level. I ain't interested in having no friends. The day of the friend is over for Will Mydell. I don't need no friends. 
To be honest, I think the last friends I had was in high school and uh, well, I could say college. Like I said, I had some good friends in college from uh, Atlanta, Augusta. That's probably, that's, that's, that's about it. And well, when I moved to Cali, my boy Bob, that's probably my last friend. But um, uh, folk crazy. But that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to uh, hook up my computer. And um, man, I got to work on this September issue. I'm like right here with it. Like seriously, yo, these issues, man. I like it's like every day. It's like 10 emails, 10, 20 emails, you know, mostly from Russia. It's not like a plane, man. Russian, be, Russian, be, Russian uh, artists, Ukraine artists, photographers, models, stylists, they send me some awesome work, some awesome work. Um, I'm starting to get more from New York and LA. It wasn't as much. You know, the, the states are still kind of on this whole how many followers he has. I noticed that by United States, they're still kind of biased to uh, send in work to magazines, to uh, publishers who don't have like hundreds of thousands of followers, you know? So, uh, and I've noticed that people outside of the States, you know, they're looking at the, my, you know, the quality of work that I'm posting. They could care less about the followers. And I've always been like that as far as with my craft. Um, you know, quality always speaks more. You know, it's guys I used to study when I was really big into commercial photography and I really wanted to learn how to do photo manipulation and composites the way like, uh, what my boy name is, I think something Hill. This is a cool white dude out of LA. I think he's out of LA. And this guy was like the king of composite photography, man. He was doing composites for like WWE stars, like, Huge uh, TV campaigns. I was like, man, I want to. I want my work to look like this guy's. This guy's getting jobs, and uh, didn't have that many followers. You know what I mean? Like maybe a, a thousand or two or something like that. But he's making money, mad money. He got major connects, like huge clients. And I'll be telling people like, yo, followers don't mean nothing. If you out there making the money, people they don't they don't have time to be sitting there worrying about trying to get followers when they got they making money. You know, and I think. And so many people out here now are just like likes and follower hungry. You know, they're like, oh, if I have this many, blah, 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 you know, I can have, you know, the clout, or whatever. And it's like, man, it's, people got the wrong perspective, man. You know, I'm all, I'm all focused on just posting quality work. And, I, and then you have enough faith to believe that that type of clientele will always find you, you know. And, uh, and my career has always been going like this because I've just been focusing on putting out quality work. And I'll worry about the followers later because they'll eventually come. You know, you just keep putting quality work out there. And... Oh, just gonna... Followers are coming. Yep, so hook up his computer, respond to some emails. Man, that lady I IHOP was like tripping me out. I wish I could have reported it. You know, she was like hella smiling at me, this, this goofy uh, Caucasian lady. And I'm sitting down and I'm like, She's like, oh wow, is that, what's that, that's a camera? Yep, it's a camera. So, so you do like photography or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Cool, like, well, what's that on top, what is that? It's a microphone. I'm trying, I'm trying to be so, I'm trying not to be a dick and get in my whole, like, what you want? <laughs> oh, cool, that is awesome, sure. Man. So she, she goes over back to her, she, she's waiting the tables. The table she, the booth she gives me is like right next to the, the waiting tables, right? So, and then I hear some other girls, some waitresses back there, like, what is she talking to him about? And I'm like, you know, and I'm sitting there like, oh, leave her alone. You know, she's just, you know, some people just have that personality of just friendly personality and just talking or whatever. And you can't blow them off and you can't be mean at them. That's just them. I got a guy like that at my church and, uh, you know, uh, he used to get on my skin a lot, but the more I started walking with God, it's like the more I started growing to love him more. And it's just that you, you just start to realize that some people are just that way. You know, and, and it always like baffles me when it comes to like myself, how people can notice my actions and see how I react and still like act like why as well act like that. You should know that's my character. 
you know, Will's straightforward. He's serious. You know, he's about business. You know, you shouldn't be around me and be like, oh, I want to talk to Will. He look like he's in one of his moods. You should know, no, Will is fine. He will sit and talk to you. You know, he's just probably over there pondering on something. He's always thinking about 50 million things at one time. Instead of sitting there trying to figure out, like, why? I don't know if I should go talk to him. Why don't you go talk to him? You know, you'd be surprised if you go talk to some people and get to know them, especially if you're, if you're, if, if it's somebody you admire or somebody you look up to or somebody you know you follow and you you uh, have an opportunity to be in this person's presence whether it's business related or personal <clears throat> don't sit there and try to make excuses as to why you don't talk to them you know because that person is not doing nothing to you they're doing what they do normally you should understand that you know so back to this chick she she comes over and so so um um, and she couldn't wait. I could see her in the corner of my eye. I'm sitting at the table right here, and I'm like looking on my phone. No, first I was looking at the back of the camera, looking at some uh, some footage from the vlog from when I was driving here. And I could see her in the corner of my eye, and I'm like, wow, she was really like checking me out. And then she comes over. She's like, so like, uh, and she's holding her little menus. Like so, um, what she asked me. She's like, so what 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 type of pictures do you take? What is it just like everything? I was like, well, I'm mostly fashion and beauty. And, oh, and her eyes lit up. Yeah, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I have a magazine I'm working on right now. And eyes lit up. And oh, really? So, okay. She's like, you know, I write poetry. I was like, oh, here we go. You know, I'm a writer. So we had this whole talk about writing. And it led into Fashion Week and articles and being a contributor. And she was, and I knew she wanted to ask because she write for me. It was just, I, was, I had to keep asking questions to kind of like, get more information out of her like what type of writing do you do you know and she's like because do you post content on there i was like no because I, I was scrolling on my phone and i was like, no i'm not gonna post that type of content as far as like articles on my instagram it's mostly pictures content i'm gonna usually put inside my magazine or uh on my website so i gave her my card she asked for it and you know you know yeah <laughs> yeah it is on and, and i just kept tripping out about the other waitresses Cause they were black and like why they kept looking my direction like why is he bothering her and this is about it's just you, you could you could sense like tension when it comes to like race uh with people um it's kind of sad um it wasn't more of negative tension it was just like go do your job okay she's talking to me or she's talking to me whatever she's not bothering me you know, I'll let her know if she's bothering me. I'll, I'll be like, you look, you're nice, you're sweet. Um, I just got I just got off the road driving seven hours, and I just left Plant Fitness. You know, I'm kind of wore out. I just want to sit down and eat. And, she, and I'm pretty sure she's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And she would have walked out. You know, um, but, you know, she 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 was talking to me throughout the whole time sitting there. And I, didn't, I didn't mind. The, the white girl that was serving me, um, she was apologizing very apologetic because she was supposed to bring me water and it took her forever and she's like oh i am so sorry she kept coming back apologizing i guess she really wanted a tip and um but they were standing over there talking the whole time i'm like well you can't get mad at this chick for getting wanting to get to know me you know that's what gets me about black chicks too i'm like how are you going to get mad at a black guy for talk talking to a white girl or dating a white girl or marrying a white girl but nine times out of ten, that white girl was interested in getting to know that black guy. You know, and the whole time you were brushing them off, or what they say, uh, curving them. You know, so you can't get mad at somebody else for taking that opportunity that you didn't w want to take because you're t you're too busy trying to play cat and mouse. You know, I got time for that, man. You're grown, grown adults. Just think I am sixteen. I might be sitting there chasing after no woman. I'm busy. I got a business to, to build. I will flirt with you and, and let you know that I have an interest. And that's it, you know. It's, it's not too many women, a man going to chase after a man. A man, first of all, a man of God. I, let me let me get this straight, cause it's different men out there. And I know it's a lot of women saying, "Well, these men," because that's the men y'all talk to. A lot of a lot of women have issues with me because one, they don't understand my spiritual background. First of all, they don't understand the type of woman I'm looking for, the woman that that should be following me while I follow Christ, and. I'm not going to talk to any type of woman and I have enough spiritual discernment and, and enough wisdom to see 
a woman from a distance and listen to her conversation by the way she's speaking, the way she carry herself and why she act with others and know whether or not I'm interested in that woman. You know, and that type of woman will sit there and call you gay, weird, crazy because you won't talk to her. But at the end of the day, it, it ain't about I'm not talking to you because I don't think you're attractive. It's just I'm not talking to you because I don't think you're a right fit for me. I don't think you're the type of woman that's capable of, of raising children because, you know, you're the way you carry yourself. I mean, it's different if, if a woman that acts like that, but she kind of clings to you and listens to listens to you while you're talking and, wh and while you're teaching and trying to uh, groom her into being a better woman because that's what a man is supposed to do is to be that, that strength and that provider for her but if she thinks she's already there and she's already arrived and I'm a queen and you know I'm a strong black woman you know the whole rhetoric these women say today is always the, I'm strong women can't men can't handle a strong black woman you know I'm a queen and they have every little title for themselves but but be single i can't keep a man if you you, you if we're the smartest we have the most degrees and i'm not got time to hear all that man yeah hey, y'all preach it to the choir <laughs> y'all preach it to the choir you know y'all can say that to them chumps out there them simps them old beta males that's always in y'all inbox and y'all dm trying to get in y'all draws but not to me not william idell the third no sir that is not gonna work for me uh-uh because -uh. i know what i want you know, and if I don't see it, I I, I just I will I will leave this earth single. That's how it is. I, I don't I settle for I won't I will not settle for nothing less than uh, greatness. And uh, and they water down that word that word queen so much. Everyone is not a queen. You know, they, you a queen, but you on you on uh, online with the filthiest mouth, all your clothes off, everything. Y'all calling each other queens. I will not. I don't I don't understand it. But. I don't know how I got off on that tirade. One thing left to one, one thing led to another. Oh man, it's a long day. But yeah, if you want to get to know somebody, go talk to them. Especially if it's a man, women don't talk to the women. Especially if it's a man, you know that's about their business. Don't expect them to be chasing after you. Cause men like that. Especially in this day and age with this generation, y'all should already know they, they're looking for a woman that's uh, not only educated, but but got confidence and uh, uh, is, is, is not insecure, you know, and, and uh, back to the white chick. Don't get mad when y'all start seeing brothers dating outside their race. You know, no, I mean, I'm a, I stay on the West Coast, man. Chicks outside their race would approach me all the time. They have no problem coming and approaching a black man. Now coming back to the East Coast, it's just totally different. I don't get it. And I don't blame the women all the time. It's a lot of y'all dudes for y'all y'all too busy sitting there trying to run game on these girls and be lying to them, telling them you're gonna do this, telling them you're gonna do that. You know, you wanna eat the box and Eat the lick the booty hole and man, I said, man, I'm, I'm cut from a different cloth, man. We ain't grew up talking like that, man. I'm like, I grew up on Pimp C, Bun B, UGK, Ball and G. The boys ain't never talk nothing like that, man. The boys talking about pimping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, boy, we'll talk about none of that, man. I'm like, oh, these dudes today. You say that to a chick, oh, it's a different time. No, no. see, stop trying, you cannot. Look, man, you can sell that to a simp, but you can't sell that to no G. You can't, man, you can't. I, we will not fold. We will not fold. Like I said, we'll stay single until the end of time because that that is a, a ideology and a belief and a trend that's going around and and it's only being, uh, it's only being, uh, well, I would say the only people that have fallen for it are these simps, these the, these beta males. You know, these dudes, they, they they so hungry for coochie. They do anything for coochie. They, you know, they'll, they'll tell you they'll do anything for you just to get your, your, your draws. I can't do it, man. People know me, man, even females, man. I'll walk in a building with a bunch of fine women. I won't speak to none of them. 
I walked past him like I don't even see him. And they're thinking, they're like, what's up with this dude? That's just me. That's 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 a cloth from cut from man. You know what I'm saying? We don't chase women. You know what I'm talking about? We we don't sit that we don't do that, man. We know we you know women always talking about they know their worth. I'm a man that know my worth. Dude, my hat will not stay. Hell, oh, that's cool, y'all. I'm a man that know my worth. I know what I got to offer. I know what I can bring to the table. Not, not, and I'm not talking short term. I'm talking long term. I know a lot of people think, well, blah, blah. Look, I'm talking long term. I'm talking 20, 30 years down the road. I know what I can do in a relationship and how I can help a relationship grow as far as my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time to be right here jump, jumping bones, jumping some girl bones just for a quick, uh, a quick nut, man. And them days is for like teenage days, man. Teenagers, man. I don't, I don't have time for that. It saddens me to see dudes my age out here still acting like they in high school. You know what I'm saying? Grown men, 30s, 40s, 50s, still acting like they in high school. And y'all wonder why women talk about y'all, man. Y'all dudes don't got so soft, man. So soft, man. Cause so I ain't got no homeboys, man. None. Well, why don't you come out this man? There's a bunch of girls. He, that's why I hang with y'all niggas. Lord, forget me. Y'all men, I ain't gonna say the N word. I'm trying so hard. I ain't, I ain't say it the whole time. I'm doing better. I don't cuss. I ain't cussing years, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to stop using the N word. <laughs> See, that's growth. You know, a lot, a lot of dudes won't even try to try to stop that. That's that's part of growth. But I don't, I don't hang around dudes like that, man. If you, if you so, if you got so much time to be out there chasing tail and, and chasing after some woman, you got enough time to start a business. You got enough time to sit down with some young dude and school him about life. You know what I'm saying? You got enough time to sit and uh, pay off some debt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, learn how to be a better husband. Learn how to be a better man to your girl. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't have time to be out here trying to uh, stick my thing into everything every other weekend, man. You know, that's that's what you do when you're young and stupid. You know, ain't, ain't, ain't too much good going to come out of there. you either going to get a girl that's stalking you. Uh, you're gonna be on child support for 18 years. Uh, you're gonna catch something. You're gonna be in the doctors getting a shot for because uh, uh, you're either burning or you're itching or something like that. And um, uh, are you gonna lose a best friend or a relationship because you're sleeping with somebody that was you, you was cool with? And then when she realized that you don't love her or whatever, and it was just a, a, a quickie. That's that's a failed relationship. Somebody you cool with for years, and y'all y'all had a quick one, and now it's over with. There's so many different scenarios, man. But look, I don't don't call me. That dudes don't dudes don't even call me no more. Females don't even call me. They know, look, man, that dude will is on some other stuff. You know what? I am. Thank you, thank you, people for not calling me. Thank you. If you watching this and you know me, thank you for not texting me or calling me, wasting my time throughout the day. If you ain't calling me, talking about no business. If you ain't saying, Will, I got this great idea, I know it's right up your alley, I know if we stick to it, and it can make some money down the road, and you could visually explain it to me, and we can go run the numbers and everything, don't call me, you know? If you can't call me and say, Will, let's put together a fashion show, let's put together this, let's put, everybody knows my niche. Everyone knows I'm a photographer, graphic designer, digital designer, print designer, I do videos, um, I do all kind of stuff. Everyone knows what I do. I post this stuff on my on my Instagram and my YouTube all the time. If you can't call me and put something together based off what I do, uh, tell me that you have an idea and if I put my work with yours, whether it's uh, paid or we both can make money, don't call me. If you ain't calling me saying, Will, what time you go to church? I want to come to church with you. Don't call me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. Nobody got time to be sitting there playing no no other grown people acting like we still in high school, man. Grow up. But they don't say we're too serious. You know what I am. Don't call me. Yeah. I need some coffee. But yeah, I'm gonna go hook this stuff up, man. I might vlog a little bit later. Feel good kind of ranting talking to y'all. YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Instagram stories if I am posting this on the stories. Y'all go ahead and smash the like button. I had to do what we seen on, uh, on uh, the uh, YouTube videos.
notification game. I ain't doing all that, man. I ain't being all extra for y'all on YouTube, man. If y'all like my channel, like my channel. Y'all wanna subscribe, subscribe. I ain't doing all that extra stuff, man. Oh, please. Y'all can tell them I'm old school in country. I ain't gonna say country. I'm from Savannah, but I'm old school in a young body. All right, I'll be back.